You guys aren't supposed to know your RPI and everything, are you? My brother tells me all the time. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't look it up. My brother's always on it. He's on everything, so I get it from him. How big are these next two games beginning tomorrow night as far as your postseason hopes go? And stuff um, like I mean, they're big games. Um, St. Mary's top 25, and we all remember what happened to us you know, down there in California and um, the feelings that we had walking out of that arena. Not feeling the greatest, and so we know this this game is big for us. You know, we need to get this win. We need to fix the things that we didn't do as well down there, and then Gonzaga, which we'll worry about after this game, but they're a big game as well. That we need to get these these three wins, including Virginia Tech. What did you, what did you do uh, this time against St. Mary's that you guys failed to do last time? Um, credit to them. I mean, they are a great team, and their their point guard Del Vadova is. I mean, he's one of the best point guards in the nation with being able to dissect a defense, and so. Credit goes to them for for how well they are, but I think for us, it's defensively our rotations weren't as good as they as we know they could have been, and um, so I think that's the biggest thing is that we need to, to play with confidence and then to defensively our rotations even better. You guys feel like you're out of this three point shooting slump that the last couple minutes that Virginia Tech got kind of got you going again? Yeah, I, I mean, and we'll always keep shooting. I think regardless of you know what what the percentages are, but. I think the last maybe eight minutes or whatever it was at Virginia Tech, we were four for nine, which is a you know, great percentage, obviously. And they were shots that were important shots. So I think that, that gives us a lot of confidence going forward. Rob, well, BYU is not usually considered a bubble team. What's it like being in this position, knowing how you have to perform right now to have a chance to play in the big tournament? I mean, it puts, puts a lot of, I guess... It's just, I think it's fun. I think the last six minutes of the game of Virginia Tech is fun, and we know that it's, it might be some pressure to some people, but we just like it. We like to, to go and play and know that you know every game means something, you know, especially at this time. Um, and we're, we're looking forward to these next games. Did, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, what, what did your shot against uh, Virginia Tech do for you personally as far as confidence? And, because, as we've said, shooting yeah. hasn't been that great lately. Um, to be honest, though, all my shots in that game, I felt like they felt good coming off the hand. They felt good. They looked good in the air, and so I thought most of them were going in. And so uh, I'm just going to keep shooting. And the, the confidence that players that each of us have in each other is great. And then the confidence coaches have in, in us to shoot the ball is, is always there. So you'll never see any of us, you know, turning down shots when we're open. So we'll just keep shooting, and then they'll eventually.